Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls to this channel of everything about MBA. Today we are going to talk about three things that are very vital that you should be knowing that actually stops you from acquiring new skill set during your MBA. Ideally, students should do MBA program for acquisition of the skill set so that they can have better managerial capabilities, develop leadership skills, and can probably acquire a high salary packages, utilization of their skills, their creativity, knowledge, intelligence, strategic thinking, and so on. But the mindset of many students during this program is not up to the mark. Yes, I'm sorry to say this, but after interacting with more than 35,000 students across 100 B schools in the past six years, I have realized that mentality of students towards MBA is not in sync with what it should be or what is required by the corporate or what it is required by you as a student as well. Students generally go about treating the degree as the number one priority and acquisition of the degree. Where they forget that it is not the degree that actually pays you, but it's the skill set that you bring onto the table that adds value to the company and that is why you are paid high. MBA degree is just a piece of paper. Yes, it does open a lot of doors for you. It does help you understand to cross the criteria of many MNCs. But ultimately what will help you is your performance and your performance can only happen if you have acquired the right relevant skill set. The three things that I have observed that actually stop students by acquiring new skill set is overconfidence, fear of failure, lack of motivation. Today we are going to see this critical topic in detail in this video. So let's see one by one. The first thing that stops people is overconfidence. Now, many people might have told you or you must have also read in some stories that confidence is good but overconfidence is bad. I believe overconfidence is also good. It is better to be overconfident than to be underconfident. But the critical element that overconfident people need to understand is whether that overconfidence is working in your favor or that is working against you. Lot of time, the reason why people say, the reason why the world at large say that overconfidence is bad is because overconfident people have a very limiting beliefs going forward. They believe that whatever skill set they have are good enough, they are best at what they do, and that is how it needs to be done. Now, this mindset works in certain uh, type of environment, but a lot of time it stops people from learning new things. It actually stops students from understanding for the fact that there can be a better way of doing the same thing that you have been doing. Relatively, you are good today by seeing the background or seeing the couple of hundreds of students in and around you. But what when you compare yourself with thousand students, with one lakh students and go on? This is where. So, overconfidence does play a very important role in your uh, personality factor and it has a significant impact, rather negative significant impact. Overconfidence also has one more disadvantage is the person who is carrying the overconfidence always focuses on things he is good at or she is good at but they forget to focus on the things that they are not good at well, let's say there are 10 things that you need to learn or you need to learn to be successful let's say you are 8 on 10 on 5 things and you are 2 on 10 on another 5 things now if you take out the average of this entire equation it will come down to 4 or 5 right so, where do should be your focus? It's good that you already are eight on ten on certain parameters, but your overconfidence will not allow you to see, to check, to go back to those parameters which you have sold two on five. Overconfident people, the good part is they always focus on their strength, but the bad part is they keep ignoring their weaknesses most of the time. So the first thing, the first route that is going to stop you from learning new things is overconfident. Number two is fear of failure. Technically, nobody likes to fail. Nobody likes to be called as a failure. Nobody likes to be in the failure zone. But if you go and ask any successful and ambitious person, he or she will always tell you that failure has contributed significantly in their learning curve that has made them successful. So, people do often say uh, failure is a stepping stone towards success, but the question is how many of them actually believe it? That's questionable. 
because understanding the failure is one aspect but accepting the failure and working on it is a very different very troublesome aspect where not everyone is ready for the same thing learning from the failure is an art it's a science it is an acceptance that every single person needs to build but people often fear failure hence they choose comfort zone and in this process they actually lose out on learning the capabilities and abilities that they could have learned otherwise if they have not been into the failure zone so people are fearful about trying new things about trying creative things they feel that let's do something that we tried tested and proven let's not reinvent the wheel but if our scientists if our discovery people who have only thought about doing the same thing and again and again doing the same thing again and again we wouldn't have such a beautiful world with so many innovations into it so the second most critical thing that stops you from learning new thing or new skill set is the fear of failure i would like to give you a small tip from my personal experience i feel that we should have a mindset where we feel that we are never failing in life it is just an element that has gone not in the way that you were looking at what is failure or what is success at the end of the day it is a perception and it is something when you decide your parameter upon this case you require a mentor a mentor that will help you understand if the things are not have gone on your way how to perceive those things how to take those things in optimistic fashion and ensure that it is not impacting our overall personality or our overall growth cycles in life a mentor plays a very vital role or a coach plays a very vital role in changing your perception from a failure as a person to failure as an event and eventually he will help you to mellow down on your emotions which triggered because of the fear of failure choose a right mentor in your life third thing that stops people from learning new things during mba or learning new skill is lack of motivation what is motivation it is just a temporary burst of positive feeling that helps you feel that you want to do it or you have achieved it or you are going to achieve it it is nothing but it raises your emotion on an upward spree or on a positive spree. emotions plays a very vital role in our lives but emotions in spite always creates a problem motivation is nothing but that positive spike of the energy that comes in lack of motivation people who are dependent on the motivation always struggle they are someone who requires a third party or a third person or instagram reels to motivate them and due to lack of motivation in their life they are not motivated to learn new things because they feel what's the use of learning this people with a people with the mindset where they require motivation will always look for immediate results immediate result and it doesn't work like that i don't know a single person on face of this earth who have started cycling without falling down i can bet you that lance armstrong has fell down a couple of times when he was learning cycling and today the world know him as one of the greatest cyclists the world has ever known for him. which means what we need to have patience we need to have perseverance we need to have a discipline when we want to learn a new thing any new thing that we are learning not necessarily it means that it's going to give you immediate result today but i can bet you that over the period of time any and everything that you have learned will never ever ever go waste so don't depend on motivation to learn new things to develop new mindset to develop new ability lack of motivation should not come your way most of the time this lack of energy actually creates a problem in mindset of people and it resists people to grow it resists people to be creative it resists people to be innovative it resists people to think long term it resists people to have a long term vision so we have learned three things to conclude we have learned three things that actually stop people from learning new things during mba and in life as well number one is over confidence number two is fear of failure and number three is lack of motivation please ensure that these three things are not creating resistance or a mental block in your life to learn the new things i have a progressive approach to watch life during your mba or after your mba program as well i'm sure this content has lot added a lot of value and if it has 
please share it with all your ambitious friends so that they can get a better insights about how do you go about tackling these two beautiful years of your life. You can actually be a golden period in your life the way it has been for me. In the description box, there is a link where I have attached a PDF that will help you understand even further deeper aspects about things that create resistance in your life. Go ahead, download, read it, share it with your friends and make sure that it is adding value to you and you are implementing what is written into it. Otherwise, it is useless. And don't forget, don't do MBA. Become one. This is Pratham Shirley signing off. Continue with next.